sun lays so brightly up in the summer sky. I shouted at the mountains. Focus, focus, focus. Watch me shine that and fly. The today. But then crack the thunder and the heavens cry. Our world torn asunder. Her heart said goodbye. Now I'm standing in our ashes. Feeling the sunshine once again I move to the horizon Feeling the sunshine once again Feeling the sunshine once again Feeling the sunshine once again So brightly up in the summer sky, I shouted at the mountains. Watch me shine and fly, but then crack the thunder and the heavens cried. Our world torn asunder. Her heart said goodbye. Now I'm standing in our ashes Feeling the sunshine once again I move to the horizon Feeling the sunshine once again Feeling the sunshine once again Feeling the sunshine once again You guys can tell this fine tooth shark was giving me a run for my money and basically you know I'm out here on Oak Island North Carolina and I'm fishing about a mile and a half to two miles south of the mouth of the Cape Fear River there by uh, Baldhead and um, it's a cloudy day and in regards to shark fishing it's um, a great day to be out in the water because it's overcast and the tides are moving in and out and I'm close to an inlet I've also chose this area because um, the topography underwater shows that there's a channel that runs onto the beach and there's a channel that runs out into the ocean. And so basically I'm sitting um, on the nearest channel and it's not very deep, it's only about 14 to 15, then it runs obviously to about 20 to 25 feet. However, um, I'm using cut croaker to catch these sharks. and majority of the species are all um, within the four and a half to five foot range and basically I'm using croaker because right now they're spawning and uh, they're spawning now until October so basically they're really prevalent on the beach and you can catch them really easy and they're easy to chop up and throw overboard uh, for these sharks and 
the prime primary species that I was catching was fine tooth and um, Atlantic sharp nose, both of which are sharks that are native to the inshore um, area. And I mean, they re they rarely get out past you know depths of thirty feet or so. So these are common sharks. I also hooked up into a nice black tip. Um, I'm not sure if you guys seen that. Um, but you talk about um, giving me a run for the, my money. It was a uh, pretty epic battle. I noticed that the fine tooth sharks have a habit of really gassing out um, pretty early, but the black tip was um, all over the place from the point in which I hooked them all the way to release. It was pretty scary um, being out there trying to handle them as well. But check this out. This is just um, the last bit of video that I have. Um, I'm out there on Wrightsville Beach. I don't know if I'm going to be visiting Wrightsville Beach um, anytime soon. This is the Mason Barrel Inlet. It's a really nice um, red drum. And I just am not really sure if I'm going to go back out because it costs so much money just to um, park and have a full day's of fishing. I mean, you have to pay $15. It's a great fishing place because you have access to these jetties. And there's a lot of uh, pelagic fish that frequent the area. Um, you know, I had a lot of luck here in this area. I'm fishing the south um, jetty. And basically, you know, I'm hooking into this really big red drum on cut bait. Um, I had caught a, a croaker and a black sea bass, hogfish, pinfish, and a couple of flounder in this area. I also had a really good hookup with um, another Atlantic sharp nose as well as an unknown species or fish that happened to completely annihilate my um, storm crankbait that I was using to troll. It, it just shook it hard and when I reeled it in there was nothing on there, no leader, no nothing. It just broke my braid and everything. So I'm assuming it was a big shark or something. But check out this redfish. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, this is Michael Team Dragon. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Shoot them in the inbox. Comment below. Be safe out there. Tight lines. Where'd you catch him on, Dookie? Um, got him on a croaker. Croaker, cut croaker. Croaker, croaker head. That seems to be what's on the buffet list today, is croaker head. I've got him on a croaker. Nice. All right, let's uh, get him on the bunk board and measure him. <laughs> 